Hey everyone, GameBro here, and this is Let's Play Sonic Adventure. Here are some more extras. I've been thinking, thinking, I should show off the child garden or not, and I've decided what the hay, why the hay not. So, um, when you first come here, there are two eggs, um, eventually hatch, and obviously they're chow. Give them animals, so... They can either increase their strength, um, flying, s swimming, or running. And th that's what the animals from robots are for. Just bring them back to Chow so they can compete in races. Just races in no karate, like in two battle. I'm pretty much focusing on this one because this one has higher stats. Um, one problem with this game is you don't actually see their stats yet. <clears throat> you just kind of have to guess how high their stats are, I guess. Um, so, you know, while they're doing races. Over here, um, here's, v here's where you can put your child in your VMU, um, where you could, um, name it and do stuff with your child. I, I'm not sure because I've never been able, because I've never done it before, um, maybe it's like those, um, little ch tiny child guards from... Sonic Advance 1 and 2. I'm not sure, but... I know a lot about it. All I know is that it connects to VMU and... Obviously. So, let's make use of all these animals. Maybe I'll... I'll give a few to this one. For the it. And, um... Fruits, um, feed your child these for so they can have slightly higher stamina. At least that's how it was in SA2. Let's feed the other one as well. Oh, and also, um, in the DX version of this, hold on a second. There's like a black market right around here. Can buy more eggs, buy fruit, um, buy other stuff for, with your rings. And you could see their stats in the X version. That's one thing they fixed, although it's still not that great. SA2 is still superior. Oh, and right here. Where you can teleport to the other Chow Gardens. I'll show them off quickly. Mystic Ruins Chow Garden. You can raise different Chow there. So yeah, taking mine cart. Um, Close to <clears throat> where Tails Workshop is, it's how you can get here. I spent less time here. I pretty much just spent time on the Station Square one. See, so, um, that's what this Ruins Chow Garden looks like. It's work on the egg carrier for a little bit. Now saving. A nice tropical place.
Yes. I've spent even less time here. I mean, you know, the eggs have hatched. But, um, this is a different file from when I actually did spend time in the other Chow Gardens. Um, and by the way, I'm using the first file, one that I had 110 emblems, and not the one that I used file to let's play on. So yeah, this is, um, a carrier channel garden, um, there we go, get around there, this isn't very big, obviously, so, um, Yes. I'm gonna... I've decided not only to show off what the Chow Garn is like, but... I, I may have missed an animal there, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna show off all the races. Yes, I'm even gonna go that far. So, here's a Chow race. Chow Race Beginner, um, go through four different courses, um, easier mode, um, dual, same courses, but more, com but Chow that's hard to beat, multi-entry, so you can enter more than one of your Chow, I'm gonna try dual, gonna put it through on all these courses, Pearl, only have Chow at Station Square and none of my VMU. So let's see how my Chow fares. Still can't give it a name. Remember, it's number five. Um, can switch to which Chow you want to put the um, camera to focus on. Come on. Damn it. Whatever I should call you. And one thing that really bothered me as a kid, especially, that you can cheer on every other chow as well. That was Big's voice just now. So, um, let's throw off the other three. What number is mine now? Still five. Gotta remember that. And it really bothered me as a kid that you can actually cheer on every other chow. I mean, in two battle, you have this... You have this... <clears throat> Stand him a gauge. The um, it slowly um, like you can press A to give him a boost. Cheer him on. Um, pretty much any time, but only when, but only in certain t certain times can you cheer him on. Just like that. Put the five. And... Again, it really bothered me that you can actually chew on any other chow. I mean, why the hell would you want to do that? Big, once again. Like every Sonic character, except for Gamma, I haven't heard Gamma's voice so far. You keep cheer on furry. Ciao. And 
like five of the emblems you get by winning in chow races. Even though there's four courses and I don't think I've gotten any emblems completing any, any or all of the beginner courses. So maybe there's like another course if you finish all of these in first place. And again, I wish I could name my chow, but I can't. For the final one, I'll do multi entry. Come on, don't nap now. What the hell are you doing? Well, obviously napping, but... Just said, but... Jeez. Noises. Child maker sure to annoy some people. They're kind of annoying me. Kind of. I have never gotten all the emblems, if any of the emblems, on the Chow races in this game before. In either this or the DX remake. Yeah, well, mine can swim. Um, and like this part, if you're like ahead of everyone, the swimming section, you pretty much have it in the bag. It's very hard for like the other chow to get around you. Even if you stop multiple times. Well, I'm in. I'm in dead last. Oh, sure. My chow boost right at the end, and when all the other chow made it to the finish line. Although, even if you're clearly in dead last, it still won't end until you. Oops, I said it multiple to entry and I, I'll do so this time well yeah um, the only two chow I'm raising okay um, four and six What the hell? Are you serious? The two chow that are reluctant happened to be mine. What the hell? In two battles, they do like... Oh man, it was too late. Dang it. In two battles, chow trip occasionally, but... For the most part, they just keep going. Another reason why, um, why Chow Guns are clearly better in the second game and sequel. And there was Amy's. Well. Oddly, number six has made it to third place. Well, that's all the chow races for you. Well, this concludes Let's Play Sonic Adventure. I hope you all enjoyed this. It is a very good game. Be sure to pick it up if you haven't. Um, it does have its flaws. Like, 
big for one thing. Should have added more levels for like um, tails, knuckles, Amy probably, and Chow Garn could have been better. I mean, Seagull did it improve upon it, but still. But it is a very good first full 3D Sonic game. Of course, Sonic 3D Blast doesn't count, and neither does Sonic Jam. It's pretty much just Small World with eight missions and a bunch of extras. Speaking of missions, I'm still considering if I should show off mission mode in what Sega added on Sonic Adventure DX. But if I do, it's probably going to be separate Let's Play and not going to be anytime soon, most likely. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my Let's Play earlier. Probably did, but if you get 130 emblems, you unlock Metal Sonic in DX, not the Dreamcast version. I'm not sure how much different he plays from Sonic. Perhaps he goes a little faster, perhaps the animations are just different. Probably not worth unlocking, but if you're gonna try to get all the emblems, good luck with that, cause it'll take it'll take a long time. Not as long as Sonic Adventure 2, but even so. So yeah. That about does it for this LP. This is GamePro. See you all in the next Let's Play.